Hey folks, I hope you're having a good start to your 18 day review. Um, I wanna talk about a few things that came up in uh, the day three analysis that you did of your uh, baseline assessment, which was that 2014 exam. A few people asked some questions and they did their analysis about some resources they were looking for. And I thought there were some really great things I wanna highlight to you. Um, three good points. One point was, are there any types of flashcards that you could have? And there are, let me kind of show you if I go into our exam uh, review folder, uh, in the uh, chapters one through 12 general resources, I have a couple different resources for flashcards. If you like the electronic flashcards, here is a Quizlet reviewing uh, a lot of the vocab from chapters one through 12. Now, <laughs> our textbook also put out a really good set of uh, flashcards on PDF that I have printed on cardstock for you. Uh, it is right here. And if this is something that you would like, um, I should have those copies uh, when you come to school on Monday. Um, there's lots and lots of pages of flashcards. And again, I put it on cardstock so that you can easily use it as a flashcard and not see the answers without turning it over. So please do come on in and grab one of these PDF sets of flashcards if you would like them. I am printing one copy for everybody, uh, so that is a good resource. Uh, the second resource people have asked for, <clears throat> are there any more extra practice things? And there are. Um, I will talk about it later on in your review, but just to let you know, uh, besides our standard 18-day review, what you're going to find is there's two folders right here. Uh, this one right here is more practice by topic and chapter. So if you click into this, what you're going to find if there's certain topics, because in your analysis, all of you kind of said different topics you want to focus on more. Go to any of the particular topics. Remember, this one is chapters 1 through 3, chapter 4, probability 5 through 7, and then 8 through 12. Um, for example, if it's under probability, if you go in there, you're going to find uh, some multiple choice practice uh, for 5, 6, and 7 that I found, um, some past free responses from various years uh, that are related to probability in particular, and then the solution set should be there too. So go there as a good resource for by topic stuff. Now, the other thing I have for review are some other full-length exams. So if you scroll on down again, I'm going to go back here to our last folder, some practice full-length full exams. Um, in this folder, uh, there's a 2019 national exam. I actually have this one printed out on paper for you, and it's kind of in the testing format. So if you would like to look at this exam and have a copy of it on paper format, you are more than welcome to come and get a copy of it. Here's the multiple choice portion and the solutions to that, the free response and the solutions to that. Now, in addition, there's some other ones here, obviously. Uh, these different years exams, just go on in there and you can access that information too. So truly, you're gonna have more material to study for or from than you probably are even gonna be able to get to. So think about, again, what you need for yourself. Now, the third thing uh, someone had mentioned that has always been available to you, but this year is no longer, is being able to access your first semester course. Um, now, I have access to it as a teacher, but this year they shut off access to archive courses. I did do a technology ticket in to our tech people across the street, and I said, you know what, my kids need this course. Uh, seven other chapters, all of their daily work is in there. They need to access it. They are currently working on some type of workaround to get you that access. Now, what the problem is so far, and this, just bear with me on here, this is your actual work from chapters one through seven. I brought it in from our first semester folder. If you click on here, it's going to be all the work that you did, but it doesn't have any of your answers that you've submitted. That's what they've done so far. And I said, well, that's okay. They could maybe see some of the questions, but I need them to be able to see what you submitted for homework. So again, they are currently working on that and I will let you know ASAP when that is available and how you will access that information. Um, I think it's very important for you to have access to your first semester coursework since we are an online course. So um, again, I'm working on that one. Uh, let me know if there's anything else though that you need. Uh, so again, remember we've got the flashcards, we have lots of extra practice, and again, working to get you that access to the online course. Last thing, let's talk about deadlines for this week. Um, as we looked at this deadline schedule, right? If we click on this, uh, the review is all based on just participation. It's not on accuracy. Do I want you to do well on it? Absolutely. Do I grade you on that? No, because you're going to be graded on May 7th when you take your exam, basically. Uh, the state's gonna, or the nation's going to grade you on that. 
so here again are our deadlines. Uh, topic one, uh, days four, five, and six, which is doing some multiple choice and some free response work. Again, just graded on getting it done, not what your score is. Has to be done by this Monday by 3 p.m. Uh, you will have a second deadline this week. It's going to be on designing studies, a chapter four. It's days seven, eight, and nine. That needs to be done by Thursday by 3 p.m. Uh, again, then the next one is not going to be again until that next following Thursday. Um, please make sure you can meet these deadlines. It's the formative work. Chapter or quarter four is only formative, and it's 80% or 20%, I should say, of your semester grade. So second semester, 80% from third quarter, 20% from uh, fourth quarter. All of fourth quarter is basically formative. Um, if you don't get that work in, it will lower your semester grade. If you get that work in, it should raise your semester grade. Um, but you don't want to be missing those easy participation points. Um, so last thing, let's just take a quick look over here again. Uh, I think everyone does have a packet, our deadline again for uh, this first week. This is for Monday for today. And this one here is going to be again for Thursday and is clearly defined here. Um, let me know what you need. Again, any other resources, I'm more than happy to go find them for you or let you know where they are, make some copies. Um, any questions you have on content, uh, that is what I'm here for. So um, have a great uh, reviewing of your material this week. And again, I will keep you updated on being able to get access to what you submitted for your first semester course on here. So um, have a good one. See ya. Bye.